wait here. A Mohawkman is likely to raise suspicions, if not muskets. This is hardly the first time I've been amongst your people. I can handle myself. I hope so. crashing of the waves, the sting of the salt in my eyes, and the goddamn gulls shrieking and shitting everywhere. You're sure that's where we're going? Aye. The Bulldog's putting together another expedition. That's what they're calling them now. Expeditions. Aye. Smart, too. Slap a fancy name on something and all evil is excused. Wonder what Braddock intends to do about it. He's already left for the advance camp. I'll wager our little holiday here is just about ended. We'll be marching south before week's end. Have a cock robin. Well, I, uh, I was leaving. Oh, and now? Well, now, I'm going to feed you your teeth. And you were worried I was going to be the problem? bleeding. It wasn't necessary. But thank you. We should move on. Meet me at Braddock's camp when you're ready. Yes. Just thought I'd, you know, say hi. You have more important things to do right now. Jesus, Dad. What? What do you want me to say? I don't know. Hi, son. How are you? What have you been up to? I know what you've been up to. Nothing. You wasted away in some shitty apartment with a pointless job, while the rest of us were out there fighting to make a difference. <sighs> you are such an asshole. Are you thinking about hitting me again? Because this time, I will hit back. Let's just get back to work, okay? 
Stop wasting time. Would you look at that? What is it? If I had to guess, I would say it's a counter. And judging from the iconography, I think it's safe to say when that's emptied, the end begins. Hon honest answer, please, Desmond. Do you think we're getting out of this alive? I don't know. I mean, it's a pretty tall order. If the first Civ couldn't save the world, how the hell are we supposed to swing it? We have some time. We have less than two months. They had decades and a lot more resources. And the worst part is we knew this was coming for, what, hundreds of years? History repeats, it seems. The first Civ was so busy with their war against us, no one even noticed what was happening. We get advance warning and then fall to fighting with the Templars. Lovely. Hopefully, whatever's behind that door will make a difference. And if it doesn't? Well, at least we tried. Back to work I go. You should consider doing the same. I'm working right now. All the visual clues are here, which means no time for chit-chat, okay? Sorry. Clock's ticking, Desmond. Come on, son, we've got work to do. working on lots of different stuff if you're going into the field we need a way to keep tabs on you and stay in touch hacking into local security systems won't cut it thanks for what I don't know everything you've sacrificed a lot for me you and Sean both I mean you upgraded the animus you helped train me pulled me out of that coma you put all that work into the database and helped me solve Clay's puzzles I know I haven't been the easiest person to work with, and I'm sorry for that. I just want you to know that even if I'm shitty at showing it, I appreciate everything you've done. You really think we'll finally get some answers down here? Maybe. Talking to the first Civ has always been a pain in the ass, though. Imagine what it must be like for them. What do you mean? They've been separated from us by tens of thousands of years. A completely different language and culture. Possessed of an intelligence vastly superior to our own. We're lucky they've communicated as much as they have. I don't know why they had to make this all so complicated. I mean, if they need something from me, they should just come out and say it. I've been wondering about that myself. I get the sense Juno and Minerva didn't exactly see eye to eye. I'm studying everything I can get my hands on. But maybe you'll find something down here that can shed light on the mystery. What happened between them, and why? What do you think's behind that door? No idea. Do you think it can save us? The first Civ seemed to think so. What if it's dangerous? It's not like we have a lot of alternatives. Well, we could... I don't know, warn the President? <laughs> and what's he gonna do? Who's to say he isn't in bed with Abstergo? Seems everyone is these days. What if we went to them? To Abstergo, I mean? I thought about it, actually. Showing them what we've seen, trying to work together. They must know so much more than we do, but... What is it? It's possible they know exactly what's going to happen. That they want it to happen. I mean, for all we know, they're hiding out in bunkers right now, waiting for the world to end. And then, when it's all over, out they come. Ready to take control. God, I hope you're wrong. So do I, Rebecca. So do I. All right, I should be getting back to work. Sorry, Desmond, little busy right now. Let's talk later.
Yeah. 